Hey guys, you are watching Jet Plays. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, and this is Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, and yeah, we are going way back. I know Ultra Street Fighter 4 is out all the rage right now. That's fine. Wanted to kick it way back. Actually, I just happen to have the Wii U still hooked up, and before I move it back, thought I'd get in a couple more videos out of this while I'm still recording. So, here we go. Oh man, I hate T-Hawk in this game. I find him- oh, okay, here we go. Oh man. No, uh, oh. Alright, that's fine. T-Hawk, the computer T-Hawk in this game just seems, is really tough. At least each time I've- there we go. Boom. Super Street Fighter 2 came out at a very interesting time of my life. I was... I say, yeah, about grade 4, I was getting... I was really into video games at that point, started reading magazines and stuff, and... When I saw this, I'll never forget the moment I first saw it in the arcade, and it was that intro sequence with Ryu and the fireball going like, oh my god, how did they make it look like that. This is the best looking game of all time. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Nice. Them footsies. Mmm. <laughs> that hitbox is gigantic. Just thinking like, wow, they've really upped their game on this. But apparently the, the reception overall was... It was okay. People didn't like the fact that they slowed the game down and a sort of other things, so they had to make some concessions. Like a year later, they put out Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which continues to be a tournament classic. So I'm playing as Ryu here, my main man in this particular game. Uh oh. Oh. I felt like I've made a Street Fighter 2 video in the past, I don't remember. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no! Oh man, I hate when I do that. Rookie mistake when the tri I hit the triggers on the Wii U gamepad. And that happens. So, what else is going on in life here? Uh... Yeah, so much more innocent time. I used to go to the arcades every now and then. I wasn't very good. I wasn't comfortable playing with an arcade stick. I was always like, man, I, w I, I, I could beat this guy if I was playing at home on a Super Nintendo controller. But it just wasn't meant to be at the time. It was just really awkward. And then 2 Turbo came out and everyone was playing Akuma and I didn't know how to do the code. And I would just get mopped even worse. Okay. Oh, I can't dash in this game. Oh, tick throws. Got him. Well, got her. So, how's your summer going? I mean, at least out here in Canada, the weather is definitely heating up. We had a really crummy winter and for it to be nice and toasty now it's beautiful. I will always take hot over cold. Mmm, that guy just got rocked. I don't know if anyone remember in Canada Super Street Fighter 2 is one of if not the first game where the cartridge was a hundred bucks. And as badly as I wanted this at home, like, a hundred dollars for a game is madness. I mean, we're in an era now, like, in Canada, the prices recently changed. So, $60 games are now $70 games due to the... Well, I mean, they claim it's the... The poor Canadian dollar. So it's been lagging behind the US dollar and they've upped the prices on games to compensate. PlayStation 4 is $450 instead of $400 in the States. 
But yeah, back then, $100 for a game. Oof. Oh, I gotta jump this way. And just wreck this car. Yeah, I just, as a, a 10 year old, $100 for one game just wasn't cutting it. So I waited and waited, and eventually I found it at Jumbo Video, which was a big Canadian video rental chain. I think there's only a handful of them left, and they've gotten way smaller. I found a used copy for $30, and I snatched that up immediately. And I, that was one of the greatest days of my life. <laughs> oh no. Okay. One of the weird quirks about Super Street Fighter 2 on the the Wii U, or at least the Wii, I don't know if the Wii U version also holds true. The Sega Genesis port of this game you can play online right now through the Wii. It's really weird that they built online play into this particular version of Street Fighter, or the Genesis version of Street Fighter, but whatever. I don't know if you guys ever remember playing Street Fighter 2 on a Sega Genesis with the standard controller, which only had three buttons. And how ridiculous that was. Sega had to put out a six button controller after the fact to try and compensate. But when you. It would default to. All three were punches, and then you'd have to press start in between to toggle between punches and kicks. It was really silly. For that alone, that's why. I always considered this the superior version. But then there was also better music, better sound, or. Better graphics, excuse me. All that. Alright, let's go, Fei Long. Oof. Since I haven't talked about Street Fighter 2 yet on these Let's Plays, there's one story I want to share with you guys about competitive Street Fighter 2. If you or ever on YouTube, do yourself a favor and go watch the Tomo tape. So Street Capcom put out a video strategy guide which featured all the pro tips of a guy named, I believe, Tomo Ohira? He, at the time, he was the Street Fighter god of the world. And the stuff he was doing, and the stuff he figured out about... Street Fighter 2 was insane in the sense that all of the tactics and strategies in that video still exist today in pretty much every fighting game ever. And he created that blueprint of how to play a fighting game. And he was doing this before anyone knew what a fighting game was and he'd already solved it. And watching that video, it's just remarkable to see how much of what modern fighting game playing is today. Like, modern competitive fighting game playing. He figured it out on his own. Didn't have to go to YouTube or read a guide or a magazine. Just did it. Alright, let's, um... I think we're going to do this as the last match before I wrap this up. Move on. I want to play some Mario Kart again. That game is pretty dope. That was weird how that crossed. Oh no. I was trying to go for the throw. Mm. Cross up? Nope. Can't get the range right for a cross up. Okay. I'm just gonna slam this guy out now. <laughs> ah, he got out of it. Oh, no. That doesn't work like that in this game. Okay. Oh. Got him. So you can see a riveting Street Fighter 2 action. <laughs> Alright, final round. Let's go. What's his game? Uh oh. Boom. Ah, I couldn't finish the combo, but that's okay. 
All right, that's Super Street Fighter 2 on the SNES. I'm playing this through the Wii U Virtual Console. Actually, Street Fighter Alpha 2 on the Super Nintendo just came out relatively recently on the Wii U Virtual Console, so you could grab that as well. I think this is the better game. I know Alpha 2 had a lot more going on, but it didn't run very well on the Super Nintendo. Oh, why am I hitting that button? Oh, because I'm trying to wrap up this video. That's right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find more of my work at inthirdperson.com, youtube.com slash jet in third person, and twitch.tv slash jet in third person. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you come back for the next one.